Well, folks, another cleanup has come and gone. This will be the last one probably for the year until later. Typically, the one I just did today at that location is another one in the fall. They've stopped doing that. However, it seems my hometown is now going to be doing one again. And um, it seems our sanitation company will be in charge of it. So hopefully I'll be able to bring some stuff home from that one. But anyways, I have three fans. And the only perfectly working one I'm not even keeping um, because I don't need it. I simply just brought it home to stop it from going in the trash. There were some more. There were some little shitty comfort zones, you know, with the quad pods. Those things break so easy, and I wasn't willing to bring those home. So I chucked those, and then there's just some other really dirty and junky modern portable stuff. But this is here. It's a Honeywell. I don't know if I said that, but I always kind of liked the look of these ones. Obviously, with the blade style, it doesn't move as much air. It's not as ideal. It's also got the child safe uh, turn knob, which I find really interesting for this fan. But yeah, I'm going to be donating that to my school because I don't need it. And I just didn't want it to go in the trash. I do have two ceiling fans, actually. The last time I found a ceiling fan in the trash would have been last spring. So a whole year ago. And even then, the, fan, the ceiling fan I found didn't work it was a junker missing blades and it had shitty bearings so that went in the trash these ones um are, are actually gonna work well one of them for sure the other one i'm unsure on yet um so i got like i said two fans we've got them down here first one is this regency marquee here from 1994 um all it does is just hum and very barely turn when I turn it on. Probably a capacitor reverse switch issue. I have neither that will work. So therefore, this just has to wait. Not pleased, but you know, it is what it is. We'll see if we can make that work. The blades are also bent pretty out of alignment and I'm not installing it and bending them back for no reason. So uh, those are just gonna have to wait for till another day. And then over here we have the other fan. This is a Menards turn of the century. Got the blade arms over there. This is one of those uh, spotlight fans. However, what makes this one special is this is a ventless uh, mesh uh, sideband one. And it's got the three-way pull chain in it, which was disconnected. They had it hot wired, so I'm gonna have to figure out. I actually do not know how to even wire up a three-way pull chain. I've never had to do one before. So I'm just gonna have to rip open uh, one of my fans that does have a three-way chain and see how those go together. Cause I genuinely don't know. Obviously, you know, one of them just goes straight to the, uh, to the light. And then I don't know whether you're just supposed to hook up two to one, two to the other, or what the hell. I genuinely do not really know. So that's just gonna have to be a little projects for later so i'll figure that out but yeah and then uh, you'll notice there's no actual blades with it it did come with blades actually the original blades however they were absolutely filthy and they were all scratched and warped and i said okay why in the hell would i keep these shitty ass blades when i can just go to menards and buy a new set for like 15 dollars um, drill, drill the hole pattern. I, I have it marked out on that piece of paper over there. It is, you know, drill a new hole pattern, you know, into it, into the new blades that is, and then just spray paint them. That, while it seems like more work, and it is more work, it's a better result than the fan looking like total garbage. Um, this one is a bit rusty in the canopy and in the switch housing. The motor housing's all right, and it seems to run okay. I, I tested it quick on one of my testing cords had no problems and like I said that one I don't know what the hell is gonna happen with it I ideally would like to keep it because I really like the marquee actually and this is basically the same as the ones at that one uh, uh, building that I did a video of a while ago it's kind of like a sort of indoor mini mall I guess it's it's, it's hard to describe but they had a couple um, their marquees they're just slightly different really just different blade arms and no Regency tag on it they're probably earlier but anyways, they're childhood for me, and one's on, you know, this exact length of down rod, I think is what the other one has, and, you know, it's really close to it, so I really would like it to work. Uh, I did have one of those forearm tulip lights. Some of the glass was broken, the sockets look pretty trashed. I could have fixed the light kit, however, I didn't feel it was worth it, so whatever parts are here are just over there. Um, but yeah, it wasn't worth saving, so I went ahead and uh, chucked that. 
And uh, yeah, that's really it for anything new around here. As for what else is um, is happening, let me see here. Catalogs, uh, catalogs are almost done. Um, the only literature I haven't gotten yet this year is everything from Transglobe, everything from Home Enhancements, and then there's also WAC fan catalog, which I gotta reach out and inquire about. And then a couple brands like, uh, let's see, The Modern Fan Company, uh, Royal Pacific, and there's one other brand, I think. Oh yeah, Caro. And all three of those have catalogs coming, they just haven't been printed yet. So those will also be received in the future. I have contacts for all those. Those shouldn't really be much of a problem to get, I hope. And then obviously whatever comes out at June Market will also be on my list. But yeah, we've wrapped up catalogs for the most part. So I just thought you guys would like to hear that little update. And that's really all I've got for you. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.